Don't, that's the balcony even though it's uh, raining and dark outside. I posted a picture this morning of what it looks like in the daytime. So this is the kitchen. Yes, it's pretty big. I'm trying to go slow. I'm not used to doing this this way. <sighs> so this is a built-in washer-dryer combo unit. Norm and I have always talked about that if we have to get a new set uh, to get one of these units is ideal. We've had it in other uh, cities before here in Europe and it's fantastic. You basically put it in and set it for this much time wash, this much time dry, turn it on and leave. Uh, dishwasher, of course, which has been a godsend. <clears throat> uh, glasses, pots and pans. Oh, there I am. Hey. <laughs> glasses, pots and pans. Uh, toaster. Uh, Norm bought some truffle cheese at the, at the uh, grocery store today. Um, my leftover garlic oil that I made the, from last night. And I moved some stuff around when I was taping the other video and <laughs> episode earlier today. But there's all that stuff that I bought so if you wanted a better look. So there's the cataplana and the wines and all the little good... Oh, that's my wine. I'm going to take that with me for this walk, which is kind of funny. Cheers. Uh, TV, which is kind of fun in the kitchen. I'm not used to having a TV in there. Uh, the microwave and oven. Uh, all of these cupboards, if you couldn't see a little even thing, all of these cupboards, um, there's, it's not just for the kitchen, but for the entire unit. So there's like a, um, an ironing board, iron tucked in one. There's the uh, big little furnace or water heaters tucked in another one. As you can see, of course, fire hydrant and everything's in there. But for us, it's Fantastic. Okay, so we're going down the hallway. So this is the front entrance. Uh, just a little table and stuff in there, ready to go. Big mirror, which is handy for getting dressed. Uh, our living room slash office, because we're both workaholics. <clears throat> so this is, this is a pretty big living room. I thought it was pretty big for a two bedroom. I don't know what the two bedrooms are going for there. So normally I've taken over the dining room table, turned it into our office. Oh, is this your wine or my wine? It's fine. Oh, shoot. That's why we're leaving it in. <laughs> drink his wine and drink mine. Oh, say hi. <laughs> okay, so the big balcony out here. So that's the picture I posted this morning. A uh, great place to have coffee. I'd have a glass of wine, but it started misting. We had so much sun today that it's not going to do uh, have that much today. So, all right, follow me down the hall. <clears throat> so, this was the first, uh, this is a spare bedroom. So, right now we're just using that to go through our getting our clothes and stuff organized. It also has a closet and everything in there, and it has access to the balcony out the back window. And of course, it has its own TV. Uh, this is the second bathroom just with a toilet and uh, walk-in shower, uh, which has been great when we're both fighting over the bathroom. Turn the light on here. Hang on, wrong one. There we go. Uh, and of course, uh, this would be considered the master bedroom, of course, there's this safe and closet. Uh, TV, dressing table, and access, there's two little lounge chairs out the back. And then uh, I'm showing off my, my bathroom, my makeup bag. Uh, but I have the tub and shower, uh, his and her sinks, and uh, oh, there's heated floors, which is kind of cool, <clears throat> because uh, they don't really need heat here. So this is January, and just the heated floors has been enough, as long as they are on full tilt. Uh, they usually just survive. They need more air conditioning here than anything else, which has been kind of great. Uh, so that's our little tour. Let me go back and do this around. Hang on a second. I want it to be on it too. <clears throat> so, uh, one of the cool things about this place, so downstairs, so this is connected to the Hilton uh, Villamore property. So there's a big hotel in front, so we have, um, basically we can sign anything to our room, use any of the restaurants and bars in the hotel complex, including the pool, the, all the restaurants around it, um, basically just like any other hotel guest. But one of the perks is, is that we just have a standard, we're in a quiet apartment uh, in a complex just behind it. Um, I don't know how many units are on here, but right now I would say there's probably only six rooms being rented. So we were downstairs in, um, 
in a one bedroom suite. So it was basically the same size, kitchen, everything, aside from that second bedroom and bathroom would be the only square footage difference. And all you Canadians, you ready? We paid $128 a night. And that's through hotels.com. So that's pretty cool. So um, if you want more information on that, you can always send me an email. It's, uh, uh, you can email me at flavor at stephaniepichet.ca, just so I know that where you're emailing me from and what it's about. And I'll happily send you the link uh, to find out more about this place. So this is be a great place if you are a golfing fanatic. So we just wanted some quiet place to work that was close by with all of the areas down here, but um, it's surrounded by golf courses and there's a marina nearby and that kind of thing. So uh, if you are uh, wanting to go in golfing and then go and sit at the pool and everything else, this might be a lot of fun for you. I wouldn't necessarily bring kids here. You saw some kids running around, but I think they're mostly locals. Uh, there's not much else to do in this area uh, besides just golfing and boats. But for us, that's quite all right. So hopefully you liked it and make sure you listen to the podcast or watch the other video. And I'll see you when I get back. Bye.